Hello and welcome to another episode of Some Gear, No Idea. Um, I've got something that I bought from eBay, um, and I'm not sure how it's going to go on camera, um, but we'll see. Uh, it's already been packaged, not opened it yet. Um, I'm going to try and just put that in under my camera. Uh, so My camera might be a little closer, and I apologise about that, um, but we'll see um, what we can do to sort that shortly. But it's all right, it's in a brown box. Um, with lots of sticky tape, which is probably really going to be noisy. Uh, I'll tell you what I might do is just quickly uh, take the outer box out, because uh, it'll be really noisy off camera, and then I will come back in a moment. So here we go. Let's uh, get this open and see if we can see what it is. move that just down a little bit it's the computerized arcade 12 games in one um, this was by uh, Radio Shack uh, in the States and uh, Tandy now the box um, the box isn't great to be fair so let's just uh, pull that out of the box and move this one out of the way so yeah it's the computerized uh, arcade and uh, the box has absolutely had it uh, it's definitely had its day but here we go and there is now I bought this and he said it was a, well, I presume, presume it was a he uh, it was untested and um, so I've not uh, I've not touched it yet these all seem to to push him uh, it's got a back, it's got a battery cover, which is uh, a rarity. Um, I believe this game is from the 1980s. Um, and it says made, uh, I don't know if you can see that, it will come up on camera. Um, but it does say made in the Philippines. Yeah, so, uh, it's relatively clean um, for, its, for its age. Like I say, I think it's 1980s. Um, but I think it does take uh, a, a quite a number of um, of batteries. Um, it's, that pad feels okay. The terminals, um, they don't look too bad, actually, uh, I must admit. And it seems to take a uh, size C and a 9-volt battery, which I'm going to have to remove from um, my calculator. And... If you want to have a quick look at the calculator I was using, uh, that's on a previous video, and that's the Commodore Business Machines uh, calculator. I think uh, that just pops in there. And I'll have to see whether I've got some uh, C-type batteries. Now, I'm sure I have, because um, I also repaired a grandstand. Unfortunately, I did that one uh, off-camera. Uh, it was before I started the, the YouTube when I repaired the grandstand. And I'm a bit gutted actually because I think that it would have made quite, quite, a, quite an interesting video, um, if I'm honest. But uh, yeah, okay. So I'm have to just grab some uh, C shaped C C C batteries. Um, to get some C batteries. So give me two seconds, uh, and I'll be back, uh, and we'll put some C batteries in and see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Welcome back. Uh, I'm just going to put some C batteries in. Uh, I always know that the, these these types of games, <laughs> when you try and put batteries in, they always uh, they always buckle. Not sure why. There's probably a reason for it. So uh, as I said, I bought this untested, and the guy said that he didn't want to pay for the batteries uh, to test. So I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but. Um, We'll, uh, we'll we'll see what's uh, see what it does. So uh, if I move a bit further down, and go for the on switch. And it's dead. Absolutely dead. Oh. Oh. 
Right, so I don't know if that's just a dodgy, dodgy power switch or not. Oh, okay. So that looks like it could be a, a, a dodgy switch, which is good for the video, cause it, you know, because it means that uh, we can pull it to bits and find out what's wrong with it. I mean, it, the the last video, the one of the last videos I did, which was the uh, split second, I thought originally that was a dodgy switch, but it turned out that it wasn't. It was a a, a dodgy power. Um, I'm not actually sure what you're supposed to do, to be honest. Yeah, okay. So what I'll do is, we'll take these batteries out. And it might just need the, the switch cleaning. It could be something just as simple as that. Um, but we'll take the, um, we'll take these batteries out. And then we'll open it up. And uh, see what it uh, see what it does. Um, just get those down for a second. Now I don't think that I can raise the camera up anymore. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think. So you might just have to bear with me. If I turn it that way, we might be able to get more into the uh, into the frame. So. I need a screwdriver. And let's have a look. See that screw, uh, I don't know if you can see that. That looks quite new. So has this been tampered with before? Who knows? I'll put that one down over there. I mean, the, the screws aren't stiff. I mean, I realise it's only plastic anyway, but they're not uh, they're not stiff by any stretch. Uh, so we'll just move this one. Sorry if I'm uh, my my things are in the way. Camera skills need a lot to uh, leave a lot to be desired, but you never know. The more videos I do, the better they might be. Okay, so that's all four of the screws out. I can just put that down, and the lid comes away. I can, now I can feel some wires. All right, okay. So I need to just turn that round because I could feel the wires uh, immediately tugging. And there you have it. So, just a quick visual inspection. What I'm going to do is uh, I pulled out uh, my light earlier, one of my lights. I'm just going to grab uh, where I put them, and then uh, I'm going to plug one of them back in. Down here. I'm just going to plug one of them back in. Uh, just to, to put a bit more light onto the. Uh, onto the board. Uh, I hope that doesn't give you too much too much glare. The board doesn't look in in bad. I mean it's a bit dusty, it doesn't look overly bad. Um this is the the switch which is a bit of a weird configuration. Um it is screwed down. One, two, uh, there's a couple of screws. Uh, let me see that. There's one just at the bottom of the screen there. And there's three wires that are coming coming off. And they don't look to be dry. The, the solder joints look fine. Um, so I think it is probably just a switch. Uh, you probably can't see that, but there is... There's a bit of paint there. Not quite sure what that's off. Um, and these pads have are turning to mush. Uh, th so there are uh, screws all over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, so there's 10 screws. Um, and that screwdriver won't fit. Let's just see if I've got something a bit smaller. I have got smaller screwdrivers, but um, they're in they're in they're in kit form. And this is why it's definitely called Sun Gear uh, No Idea, because there's, there's two reasons for that. Number one, you know, I have no idea how to repair this stuff. And number two, I have no idea what any of my tools are, despite trying to keep them, uh, here it is, keep them, <laughs> keep them together in drawers. So here we go. Right, so I've got, um, I've got a small um, kit uh, that I try and keep to hand so I can undo screws of this nature. So let's uh, let's get the bits out. Push that in. Appreciate this isn't great. So <laughs> it's not great viewing, um, but there you go. So now those screws are stiff. Definitely stiff. Now I want to try. And uh, place the screws so I know which way they want, so I can put them back in the right ones. I think that they're all going to be the same screws anyway, to be fair. But yeah, they look the same, those. So I don't think there's any issue with uh, sizing, but I'll just separate them anyway, just so they're. Um, Oops, sorry. I appreciate that my uh, camera skills and production values aren't great, but hopefully, as uh, as I do more of these videos, it might improve. It, I hope so. Anyway, I hope that the audio is okay. Um, even from just the the last video that I did. Uh, sorry, the first video that I did, you know, uh, that was just off, uh, just off the camera where I'm actually got a microphone this time. But I don't know if it's any better or not. Um, it's just oh, there's two more. There's one here, just in the corner. Let's see if I can move that up a bit. And that's the other thing, you know, uh, when you're recording, I've got to remember that. I need to show you guys um, what I'm unscrewing, and it's not just for my <laughs> it's not just for my benefit. Right. Okay. So that feels uh, loose now. Okay. Um, let's just see. I can move that down a bit for you. So. You know, in, in terms of in terms of circuitry, there's not uh, there's obviously not a right lot to it. I think these probably just need a clean. That switch probably it does look filthy, to be honest. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just spray some um, isopropyl alcohol in there. There's a cap, which is thirty three uh, microfarads. At 10 volts so I'm tempted to swap the caps anyway just because it's good practice um, whenever you see these caps especially from this edge I have got um, I have got a box of um, let's see if I can get this under the camera I have got a box of um, capacitors that I keep uh, various things so what did I say it was 33 at 10 volts so, have I got 33 at 10 volts? I've got 33 at 16 volts. So, yeah, that'll do. So I will put, uh, I will change the caps um, shortly. What I will do is grab my isopropyl alcohol for the moment because you know it is. Uh, they're obviously the 
they're um, they are working so what I'll do is I'm just going to spray some uh, isopropyl alcohol in there and I'm going to work I'm going to work it in um, just back and forwards just try and give that switch uh, a bit of a clean and then I have got some uh, some tissue tissue paper where I'll just uh, I mean the the isopropyl alcohol will evaporate on its own anyway but you know just uh, we'll just give it a wipe and so I'm just going to work that in for a, a few seconds and then what I'll do is flip the board back over put it on its locating lugs Ah, okay. So it is, it, there's there are there's springs in there. So I am going to have to put a couple of screws in. I'm not going to put them all in, um, but I will put uh, a couple of screws in just to to bring the board down a bit. And then So it's not so uh, it's not ideal, but uh, to be fair, I just want to see if the thing will switch back on. So um, I'm not too I'm not too fussed about that uh, playing with it. So let's put that in and go and grab the D cells. And then they'll buckle. As they do, because it's under, ten under tension a bit. Put them back on, and let's just turn it over. Right, okay, I think then uh, this green light didn't illuminate. Oh. So. Is it a bulb that's gone? Is it a bulb that's gone? Which would be irritating. Now I didn't see before whether whether it's uh, whether it actually lights. So maybe I'll have to look back through the video um, if it did actually light because I can't remember. Okay, so what I'll do is turn it back over, uh, take the batteries out. Now, I don't think that I'm going to recap it on this video. I think what I'm going to do is recap it on another video, because otherwise um, the video will get too long. So maybe this will have to come over a couple of videos. I'll try and test the bulb. Uh, if the bulb is out then i might be uh, i might be out of luck because it's not something that you know i, I have uh, spares of um, so i might be out of luck let's just take these screws out and lift it up so i think it was uh was this green one? So, is this this bulb? Right, I don't know how this might. Ah, so is it? Is it soldered? I think obviously that's the little carrier for it. Now, I can see. Now, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see that. Put my thumb. Possibly underneath it. Sorry. No, it's not grey. I do apologise. Uh, I'll have to figure out how to, uh, how to focus this camera. But what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to put my meter across and just to see. Uh, see whether the bulb's gone. So what I'm going to do is put my meter into uh, continuity mode. And I don't know if I can show you, but we'll, uh, we'll do it anyway. We'll put that. I mean, there's not much to, to show, to be fair. But we'll move that over a bit. And I don't know if I can write it down anymore. I can't, unfortunately. Sorry. So. Okay. So I think it's those two. Okay, so maybe the bulb hasn't gone. I wonder. Would that tell me whether the bulb's gone? I don't know. Or would you have to take the bulb out? And does the bulb even come out? I mean, I don't want to force it. Um, but I don't know if that's just a carrying it or whether you know whether I got if I got um, some needle nose pliers on there whether whether I could just lift that out I mean I don't want to put pliers onto the actual bulb itself because that would be nuts um, yeah that would be nuts wouldn't it I'm not quite sure what that. Just wondering if I've got anything that I could wrap some pliers. If I could put a bit of tape around some pliers, perhaps. Or should I just try and. I mean, I don't want to crack that bulb. Nope. Hmm. See, that. that it doesn't look like it's been clipped in. It, it looks almost like it's been melted. So it's clipped in and then melted. I mean, maybe when they when they put it together. Um, yeah. Hmm. It doesn't look. It doesn't look like it's gone. Uh, and I don't know if I can show you this. Um, hmm. If I put. A bit of tissue, perhaps under there. Let's see whether it'll focus. Move my hook that way. Nope. 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 Okay. So memo to self: I need to go to camera school and figure out if this thing works. Looking at it though. It doesn't look blown. It doesn't look blown at all. So, let's have a look. Is it a dry joint? I mean, it doesn't look like it's moving, to be honest. Let's have a quick look at the circuit board. See if there's anything in there. Uh, ah, okay. So, it it looks it looks like they're all connected. So that trays. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry. Uh, the 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 trays um, from one side of the bulb seems to join up to the next bulb. By the looks of it, you following the trace along. Hmm. I'm not quite sure now what's what's best whether to try and take it out or not. Or should I just put some batteries in and, and move it around? 
move it around a bit with the batteries in. Right, okay, I'll tell you what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some batteries back in. And then we'll turn it on, give it a wiggle. Because you never know, it might just be a loose connection there. So, I think it goes, probably goes without saying, that I'm not a professional by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I'm a complete amateur. Um, and the stuff that I do is, I guarantee you, it's not the way it should be done. So, I would take, take uh, anything I do with a pinch of salt um, and, and, you know take this video for what it is which is a bit of entertainment I suppose well stone me so now it's working again um, let me just move that down I don't, sorry let's, uh, see, let's just uh, switch that back on so stone me it's working again so what is it? Is it just a dodgy? Is it a, is it a a dodgy um dodger solder? Does it need just moving a bit? I mean, it doesn't look that bad. To be honest, it's not moving. Uh, let's move that back a bit. Sorry about this. Um auto focus I, I will figure it out um, in the next couple of videos I'll, I'll spend some time and and try and solve it but uh, the the bit you're looking at is 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 here it's these two here um, uh, the 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 sort of the the caddy if you will the the case is is, is moving around because it's only sort of plastic melted in but yeah okay the switch is still iffy um, and that's got some really really like big um, move that over really big blobs of solder uh, onto the board I mean, it's not that but let's uh, let's let's pop this back and let's just stick these screws back in I think when I come to cap it, I think what I will do is I'll I'll cap it on a separate video. I think because otherwise it's just going to get the it's going to be an hour of me rabbiting on for nothing, and uh, I don't think it's that something that you want to see or hear. And in fact, what I might do is when I come to the capping video is obviously I'll I'll try and uh, move that out of the way. I'll try and work on my camera skills figure out how to use an autofocus because um, I don't think it'll uh, well it's supposed to be auto it's autofocus isn't it you know. um, should I put all these screws back could that be the problem maybe I need to put a screw back over here that's how we'll do I'll just put one here because you know if I'm going to recap the thing then it's it's pointless putting it all back together. Ah, hello. Okay, so as well as capping it, uh, I'm going to have to um, fix that wire that went there. Oh, there you go. Went there. Yeah, okay, so that's the other thing I need to do is fix that wire uh, when I recap it. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that on the next video. Um, and I'll I'll try and figure out how to do this auto focus or I'll, I'll figure it the focus out. What I'm tempted to do is I might even see whether I can utilize my uh, microscope. 
not that it needs a microscope but it might it might be better uh, for you to see if i do so anyway we'll, we'll see uh, thanks for watching um and just bear with me and i promise me i'll i'll promise you i'll try and get these uh these camera skills but in the next video what i'll do is i'll fix that wire uh, and i'll recap um i'll recap the uh the, the board i put new capacitors on uh, and i'll film that bit so you can see my terrible techniques um and yeah well thanks for thanks for watching um <laughs> some gear no idea um and I hope that you'll like and subscribe and click the little bell uh, to be notified of when I put a new video up. But yeah, take care. Speak soon.